I'm mad late to this at this point, but fuck it. I'm just going to have to go ahead and rock with it. I'm going to try to clean up the audio as much as possible. But basically, um, I was in the shower when this came out. And I was like, well... If you can't tell by this point, I'm like damn near tired of doing these videos. <laughs> they come out so fucking often. <laughs> they drop it every fucking other damn day at this point. And it's amazing. Both of them obviously want to win the weekend. And I don't mean that weekend. So they're dropping, you know, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I literally, I think one has came out every single day so far this weekend. Um, and I was like... <laughs> I didn't even do uh, Not Like Us because I was like, I did some shorts, which, or I did a short, I think, and that was supposed to be my contribution for the day. But I was like, fuck, man, I mean, I'm up here, I'm up, I'm awake. I feel like an old cunt, so I'm like, fuck it, man. So being an old head, so being a jackass, just go do another video. Hopefully these niggas don't drop for at least another four or five fucking business days. That's all I can hope for. This is what it looks like when rich niggas that don't have any kind of fucking responsibilities in the world can just make fucking music and fuck each other up lyrically. As for the actual, you know, beef itself at this point, at this point, I mean, it's kind of self-evident. Like, Kendrick has won every round, I guess. Um, you know, I mean, <laughs> you're comparing Euphoria and Sis 16 against push-ups and TaylorMade. Okay. You're comparing Family Matters against Meet the Graham and um, Not Like Us. So yeah, it's obviously like pretty much at this point no contest, uh, really. I mean, the first round may have been a little bit of a contest, but so far the second round, no. Uh, so I guess this is effectively the third round at this point, which uh, I, I don't know when it's just supposed to stop. Because I mean, Kendrick, as I think is going to be uh, illuminated in this little Diddy, right here, Paul Austin Diddy. Um, Kendrick is using information that uh, may be fabricated. At the same time, it's like, it really doesn't matter because Kendrick like, makes better music and is better at rapping and, than Drake. So it's like, does it even matter? <laughs> like, could it just be fake? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> I mean, we really could be at that point. Uh, we're still recording, right? Yeah, so this is going to be the first one I do that has an actual song playing. Uh, I'm going to have it playing on my speakers, and I'm going to have my Yeti audio doing a Yeti thing. Praying to God this shit doesn't sound too fucking ghetto, but we'll see. We're already recording, so we don't have to do anything. Just, okay. Just let me see you prove it is uh, saying, let me see you prove the shit you're talking about. That is not complete allegations, which uh, it has been... Drake's uh, kind of talking point with these last few songs from Kendrick. All right. The Pulitzer Prize winner is definitely spiraling. Okay, he's not doing the little funny ha ha voice. This is like the serious, like monotonous voice you usually see on his lyrical shit. Okay. I got your fucking lines tapped. I swear that I'm dialed in. First, I was a rat, so where's the proof of the trial in? Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? 1090 Jake would have took all the walls down. The streets would have had me hiding out in a small town. My Montreal connects stand up, not far down. The ones that you're getting your stories from, they are clowns. I am a war general, season in preparation. My jacket is covered in medals, honor and decoration. You waited for this moment, overcome with the desperation. We plotted for a week and then we fed you the information. A daughter that's 11 years old, I bet he takes it. We thought about giving a fake name or a destination. But you so thirsty, you not concerned with investigation. Instead, you in that Venice studio, it's a celebration. You gotta learn to fact check things and be less impatient. Your fans are rejoicing, thinking this is my expiration. Even the picture you use and jokes and the medication. The Maybach glove and the drug he uses for less inflation. Master manipulator, you bet on the speculation. You dumb and reactive nigga, I'm petty with dedication. Okay. What about the bones we dug? All right, so um, I think I, I know where this next part is going, but yeah, so this this part um, it was it became a trending like thing, pretty much uh, around Spotify. Teen Angst might earn a regular spot in your playlist rotation. I ought to ban Spotify after that shit. Teen Angst. Anyway, uh, it became a popular 
tweet, I guess, on Twitter around Friday, I want to say, that almost, like, everything... Well, it started out with just a daughter being fake, and then people also came to say, like, the... Basically everything that Drake um, had... Well, Kendrick collected from Drake's house that was in the uh, 16 cover art was fake. That kind of came on later on in the weekend. So, basically, Kendrick was thirsty for a slam dunk. And Drake has pretty much confirmed the rumors that all that shit was fake. Which I don't think matters because of the whole, like, teenage shit. Like, I, I mean, it matters in the sense that, like, Kendrick is, like, reaching for, like, a, you know, Hail Mary. And it kind of flies in the face of like, what he said on Euphoria, which was, you know, you think I really need to, like, go dig all this shit up. You know, I'm a father. Like, I got more serious shit to do in my life. Uh, so Kendrick did reach for the information, or at least, excuse me, at least the information came to Kendrick. I, it's possible that Kendrick didn't go anywhere, but someone just gave him that shit. But the main point being, Drake planted that, um, which makes sense because the whole, like, Kendrick's one of his biggest kind of narratives at this point was about the whole, you have moles in your camp. So he fabricated the mole, basically, which if you're looking at this from a purely strategic point, you just, like, apply this to almost a war, like a, a world war, uh, this would be a very major turning point, possibly. We're a minute in, just about 14, or four minutes left, so we'll see where it goes. He's not going to talk about uh, what was also very pop. we're well, not popular, because, like, the popular thing was, like, shitting on Drake, but a thing that I saw some people, mainly OVO fans, kind of mentioned was, like, hey, you did all that, like, you just started, like, well into this nigga, but, like, you didn't ever mention, like, any of the shit he pretty much talked about, which... I seen, you know, even like some like open mic eagle, a very uh, good rapper, uh mentioned that like Kendrick didn't like talk about his shit at all. Yeah, he was giving Kendrick his props, but at the same time he said Kendrick didn't mention like any didn't cover any of that shit at all. And for him to have had the song essentially in his hands, which was Family Matters, for him to know that song like its contents pretty thoroughly and then not speak about that shit, I mean it does matter. Like I'm not gonna sit here and be a Kendrick Dick Rider. I think Kendrick's like slam dunk this nigga fake information to some degree or not. But I'm not gonna just be like a complete dick rider. Like if you're sitting here and you have someone alleging that you this like you know, I don't think Kendrick's ever pretend to be like this holy and thou ass nigga, but like at the same time, like there is a certain like when you're a conscious artist, there's a certain understanding that you have to be kind of really above a lot of stuff, you know, and domestic abuse, um, you know, kind of infidelity, which he even talks about in his own album, um, infidelity, shit like that, like, it's different when it's just a song that you're crafting that's saying, like, hey, you know, I did some fucked up shit, but, you know, I'm not perfect, which is pretty much what Kendrick's last album was, more or less. It's different when it's that versus, like, yeah, it's infidelity, it's you not really committing to your, your wife, it's you pretending, like, really be black or or at least like love black women like that uh because your woman's basically like closer white than she is black uh and is also like you beat your wife like it's just shattering his whole like he's a savior you know type shit so we're still going right yeah 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 okay um let's just get back into it it's a good 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 opening moments here so far for drake though in that excavation and why is it Whitney denying all of the allegations why is she following Dave Free and I miss the morale I literally saw that that tweet like that was a wow. Dave was a leaving tweet. hard emojis underneath pics of the child speaking of anything with a child let's get to that now this Epstein angle was the shit I expected he did I, I, I told that wasn't a smart thing to do that wasn't a smart thing to do no matter if he asked for it or not that shit was not smart TikTok videos you collected and dissected Instead of being on some disdirect shit You'd rather fucking grab your pen and misdirect shit My mom came over today and I was like Mother I, mother I, mother I Wait a second, that's that one record where you say you got molested Oh, fuck me, I just made the whole connection This about to get so depressing Ooh. This is trauma for wow. own confessions This when your father leave you home alone with no protection So neglected that's why these pedophile raps and shit you so obsessed with It's so excessive They're acting like it's so aggressive But you just never know an affection I don't want to dish you anymore This really got me second guessing Touch my Alright Drake, let's 
Let's not go that route. <laughs> let's not. Let's not like get the upper hand and leave the table. Like let's. All right, come on. You gonna you gonna see this shit through? Like what you told Kenny. Touch my body by Mariah Carey. Please, you probably start reflecting. Uh, I mean, to talk about like the last few bars here. Uh... I'll be honest with you. I didn't like listen to. <laughs> He's referencing Mr. Morale song. I don't give a fuck about Mr. Morale. I'll be honest with you. That's that one record where you say you got molested. Oh, fuck me. I just made the whole connection. This about so he basically flips the whole, like, you're... It's so much, it means so much to you to, like, keep this supposed pedophile away from, like, families and, and kids and all that shit. But, like, really, you was the one that didn't get that protection that you're trying to, you know, front that people need from Drake. I'm alone with no protection, so neglected. That's why these pedophile raps and shit you so obsessed with is so excessive. They acting like it's so aggressive, but you just never know an affection. I don't want to dish you anymore. This really got me second guessing. Touch. He also kind of like flips the whole like introspective shit that like Kendrick, like Kendrick trying to like dig into that nigga's soul on these last few songs. Drake hasn't played, really played that angle yet in this beef, so he's just flipping that shit that Kendrick did really. Body by Mariah Carey play, you probably start reflecting. I never been with no one underage, but now I understand why this the angle that you really mess with. Just for clarity, I feel disgusted. I'm too respected. If I was fucking young girls, I promise I'd have been arrested. I'm way too famous for the shit you just suggested, but that's not the lesson. Clearly, there's a deeper mess. I'm rocking what he's saying so far, but like, it's tone deaf in the sense of like fucking Harvey Weinstein, um, uh, R. Kelly. R. Kelly, who got away with this shit just like red handed for like two, three decades. Um, he's a little bit incorrect there, but for the most part, like, I'm rocking what he's doing here. He's really like taking the material that Kendrick had, the shit that he was pretty much more or less like rocking. Like, this was the foundation for obviously the last two songs, but also like this was his home run on the first few songs. Like, this is what Euphoria was setting up for, and this is what this is, like. He's trying to take that out from him and just like leave him materialist, which makes sense. Deep cuts that never healed and now they got infected. Like if Dave really fucked your girl and got her pregnant, talk about freedom resentment. Not sure how to ease the sentiment, the shit's too intimate. I'm praying you recover from both incidents, but you a piece of shit, so this shit really no coincidence. Drake is not a name that you gon' see on no sex offender list. Easy does it. You mention an A minor, but niggas gotta be sharp and tell the fans who was it. Wait. You mentioned an A minor, but Nick. It's a little piano key there. A name that you don't see on no sex offender list. Easy does it. You mentioned an A minor, but. A minor. Stay with me. Wait one second. Stay right there. Don't go anywhere. Stay right there. Don't go anywhere at all. Middle C, B, A. This will be A minor. I think. Actually, A minor is a chord. I don't know. Fuck it. That was A, the key of A I just played. What chord is A minor? Let me see real quick. Listen, I didn't get far enough in fucking piano, bro. What can I say, man? Uh, A minor. It's a chord, right? Uh, let me see. Piano. I'm going to cut this out in editing, I hope. Uh, A minor's A, C, E. Or C. Okay, so A, C, E. Actually, this is one I did learn, but I just forgot because I haven't done piano forever. So A minor's A, C. We're going to play that. Alright, so let's see. So, C, middle C. A, C, E. So this will be A minor. Alright, so this will be A minor more or less. I think that was, yeah, because A, B, C, yeah. Alright. So this will be A minor. Now 
That would be A minor. Okay. Not a name that you don't see on no sex offender list. Easy does it. You mentioned an A minor, but niggas gotta be sharp and tell the fans who was it. You thought you left D flat, D major. I slit your throat with the razor. And that piano just come in. You thought you left I don't think there's any piano before that point. Do Rick Ross hair like that one flight from? You're talking about the one that was missing, but. Do Rick Ross? If that says head, that makes a lot more sense. Do Rick Ross head like that? So like cut Rick Ross head off, I guess. And they're talking about like jets and cargo jets and Drake having one that he isn't safe to fly in and all that shit. So that's why you know it also kind of comes together like in an entendre way. Baby mama screensaver, only fucking with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby Browns. I never look twice at no teenager. I'm a fucking hit maker, dog, not a peacemaker. Yeah, bullets that I'm stuffing in each chamber, go ass in extreme danger. Stop buying views and buy comments. You may as well keep the paper. Shut the drink, dude. Later. I give a fuck about your streaming data. You could drop a hundred more records. I'll see you later. Yeah, maybe when you meet your maker. I don't want to fight with a woman beater. It feeds your nature. <laughs> If you still bumping R. Kelly, you could thank the savior. Said if they deleted his music, then your music is gone. Ah, he flipped the thing from, okay. All right, so we'll just like kind of scan through some of these relevant points here. I already talked about the Rick Ross thing. Uh, the Millie Bobby Brown, that, that, that kind of. Twice a baby mama screensaver. Obviously, this one should be pretty obvious. Whitney Houston, you know, Bobby Brown. It's kind of, he flips it. Whitney's also Kendrick's wife. Pretty good bar. Fucking with Whitney's, not Millie Bobby Browns. I never look twice at no teenager. I'm a fucking hit maker, dog, not a peacemaker. Yeah, bullets that I'm stuffing in each chamber, go ass in extra. All right, so this one, like, this is just like no you. This is basically what Drake does, just no you. Let me see, I'm still going here. Uh, Drake just like no use him. Like, that's that's it. Like, you're the one buying views, you're the one bot commenting. Um, Danger, stop buying views and bot comments. You may as well keep the paper. Um, Kendrick's songs have been doing like more views than Drake's. At least the last two have done more views than Drake's. Uh, so yeah, that's where that's coming from. You could drop a hundred more records. I'll see you later. Yeah, maybe when you meet your maker. I don't want to fight with a woman beater. It feeds your nature. If you this, uh, so this was in I believe 2018 to 19 ish. No, actually, no, 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 no. It was around 2017-ish. Um, Spotify, because of, like, outward pressure, was going to look to ban, basically, like, artists that had done graphic things in their life. And they looked to ban R. Kelly, Essence and it was somebody else that was of that same kind of ilk. And uh, Kendrick basically, like, threatened, I think, on behalf of TD and just outright, like, threatened to take his music off of streaming services they did that shit. Uh, I think it's primarily because of Essence Tentacion he did that for, not R. Kelly, but works here. Also, Essence Tentacion, um, Drake's supposed to kill him, so it also kind of gives, if you know that story, it gives a little bit more weight to this lyric here. Bumping R. Kelly, you could thank the savior. Said if they deleted his music, then your music is going to a hypocrite. I don't understand why these people praise you. Sounding like you sent him commissary when he some paper album dropping soon no wonder you turn a cloud chase instead of doing hard labor nigga i see you when i see you like fantasia whitney you can hit me if you need a favor and when i say i hit your back it's a lot safer <laughs> i promise yeah so is he gonna really bow out here was some, some good exercise like it's good to get out get the pain work done you would be a worthy competitor if I was really a predator and you weren't fucking lying to every blogger and editor, but it is what it is. You definitely oh, got so to get, to get out of here. Like, you got 10 more records to drop. The one before the last one, we finessed you into telling a story that doesn't even exist. And then you go and drop the West Coast one to try and cover that up. I would like that one. That, that, that would be some shit I could dance to if you wasn't. 
tripling down on some whole other bullshit, but you know, at least your fans are getting some raps out of you. I'm happy I can motivate you, bring you back to the game, like, you know, but just let me know when we get into the facts. Everything in my shit is facts. I'm waiting on you to return the favor, like. Okay, I kind of figured how this is going to go pretty early in the song. Um, yeah, this was... Uh, this was... Yeah, this was bad. Like, this... <laughs> I don't know if it was, like... <laughs> this, this ranged between, like, really not good to like bad um essentially like what this what this was damage control this was nothing else except damage control and it has no other reason to be it's not even a diss essentially it's literally just like him coming down and being like hey your shit was fabricated which it could have been, it almost makes more sense for it to be fabricated, honestly. Um, at least in the sense of, like, the whole, like, the Ozempic, you know, having this pills and having the Maybach glove and all that. All that shit, like, makes more sense to be fabricated. For Kendrick just to have a nigga collecting all of this shit in Drake's crib, um, feeding this nigga, like, you know, the, the, the daughter shit. I, all that, that's, that, that makes sense to be fabricated. Honestly, if I was thinking it through... If Drake had an 11-year-old daughter, after the story of Added On, that would have been five years ago, six years ago. I think it would have made some sense for that kid to be revealed around that time, or at least between that time to now. So, that being fabricated, I'm completely okay with that. And then he, um, the, the, obviously, the pedal ship. Okay, you want that to, like, because that was a wildfire. That was going everywhere after... You know the last song. I understand, like you have a song that's literally about to be a hit, like being played in clubs and stuff like that. A minor, like you have to damage control it. I get that, but you have to do this. It is rap. You have to do this in the frame of a rap. So it's not just rap; it's a like beef. You have to do this in the framework of a beef song. This is not a diss. This is not even. It's he didn't, he didn't even bring anything else to the table. Like, he just basically alleged that Kendrick is doing this for album promo, which I know a lot of people want to see Kendrick release an album after this, come back to the game with a rap shit. This, to me, reads just like, Drake had some niggas read Twitter and, like, took what niggas was asking for to, or wanting out of Kendrick and just made a fucking bar out of it. Did the whole, like, pin shit, like this dude kind of said. <sighs> Drake didn't write this shit. Like, Drake might have wrote some of it. I, I think Drake says it's probably a decent pen, but... If you think Drake is writing shit by himself at this point, you're fucking stupid. Um, I mean, this was cool. The whole, like, you know, you wrote about... Yeah, when I say cool, I mean, like, this was somewhat impressive. Like, you were the one who got molested. Now you're projecting onto me that, like, I'm the one, like, out of the molestation, basically. That shit, lyrically... Great, okay. Like, I would say the first, the first, like, one-third of this song, like, goes. And maybe in the first half of this song, like, does something. But then, like, as you can kind of, at least, I don't know if you, like, go back and look, look at my kind of reaction. Or just kind of how I was looking at this shit. I mean, it's so low energy. Like, I thought it was my volume, but, like, he's so low. He does a monotonous. I, I a pine on it like as soon as the shit started. He does the monotonous lyrical flow that he does in all of his lyrical songs. He has no like range on those songs, by the way. Like, all of those are monotonous as fuck. Uh the what's it champagne kisses or whatever the shit that starts out of starts out C L B. Um that shit like is like his go to like lyrical flow. Just sing song, you know, just talking. Not really high energy. It's consistent throughout the song almost completely. That's how like all of his lyrical songs go for like the last like five, six years. But his solo energy, like it's just like literally like him just trying to check off like everything that Kendrick alleged that he did. And then he's also like he's trying to like really get like a 
a exit set up here. An exit to get out of this this beef. Because like on one hand I'm like, okay, Kendrick is dropping every five seconds. Like realistically Drake can't keep up with that. Okay. Alright. I, I, I got you. But like like this. This is a good yeah. exercise. I'll get the pen work done. Be vlogger and editor. Like, you just like at this point, like you're trying to like cop out the, the whole beef. Like you just don't want to like rap with this nigga no more. Get some facts. Like get some facts. I was like, bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> and then you just talk for like in a minute. You close up the song with a minute of talking. It's like my guy at work said, like. You need to put that shit into a verse. He's referring to Rick Ross's talking part at the end of Champagne uh, Wishes. Bro, just talk for a minute. It's a five minute and a half song. You just talk for a minute. This is clearly like it. This was clearly A put together to like kind of take out the wildfires that Kendrick put out. And then B, he don't got nothing else. You don't think this would have been a perfect time to like actually come with some other facts, some other shit to come with? I, I now I can say I think Kendrick's probably out of shit. Like I think Kendrick probably, in, in my opinion, if Kendrick had like stuff that was like medium intensity or even like kind of small intensity, you would have made that your know, round two stuff instead of like the heavy hitter like you're on an eleven year old child or any of that shit. That's what that's what I would think you would do. You you try to build up, you know, and um, no, I don't think Kendrick really has anything else like left probably. Um, but Kendrick could wrap his ass off. Kendrick would have just fucking sat there and just like tapped out, <laughs> just like no, I'm I'm done now. Uh, so as far as like I guess where this ends up kind of falling out, I think we're almost done here. Honestly, I think a lot of people were like, I don't know where this is gonna go after this. Like, how long is Kendrick go for? You know, you guys are dropping. Like, eight songs combined or some shit like that um yeah this is what i said i think i said this like literally in the i'm too famous to be a pedophile as i mentioned the harvey weinstein and all that shit yeah this is a bad look like this is i mean these are people on drake's shit saying this i don't have i have the extension on my other browser but i don't have it on this one to see what the dislikes look like but i imagine they don't like look great and um yeah the ghost riders like this just this isn't he sounds defeated low energy as fuck exhausted i mean the most important thing to keep in mind is that this guy was going to attempt to go on vacation around the time that that like that record came out he was supposed to finally be done with the whole four the dog shit you know tours all that stuff and he's gonna go on vacation that shit came out literally just for this next but they step out. And the most important, like, the most important thing from this previous beef uh, story of added on was that like Joe Budden talked about this as well. By the by the way, he was entering album mode, and what I guess pissed him off uh, a little bit more was that like, he was getting the album mode, and then these niggas started attacking him, uh, and obviously the story of added on beats a shot of Drake. Like it just killed him but like you can tell in his album it really threw off the fucking emotion and structure of that album story of added on cooking the fuck out of him there were so many subs at push your teeth throwing throughout that fucking album so this nigga clearly like mentally like at a point where like if you get him at the right time you can throw this nigga off completely which you can't do in kendrick obviously i mean this nigga kendrick he might have been coming with that album like, he may have been, had the intention of having that album who knows, who knows but like He's not gonna like, you know, show his hand like as he's. I mean, Drake doesn't even have like memes anymore. Like he had, he didn't post a meme throughout uh, the meet the gram up until, you know, not like that or not like us. Like those two days or so, like, he didn't three days. I think he didn't post any memes. There was no IG fucking Denzel Washington. There was none of that shit. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to dish you anymore. If I'm a pedophile, yeah. I mean, it's some witty stuff. I mean, I'll give them that. That like is some stuff that like you could be like, oh, you know, it's funny. But like, 
I, I'll put. I'll say this: If Kendrick had like one more fire ass song, I think it's go over with. Like, I think if he, I think this like actually like there will be no more songs. If he had one more, it's like the baby's getting eighty eight thousand views on a new single. Man, that's crazy. Damn, that nigga's finished. Uh, <laughs> if he get one more just fire ass right hook, I think it'd be done. I really do. I think it'd be over with. But Drake was wild as fuck for. I mean, people seeing this shit, that was so fucking stupid to bait that nigga into, like, um, you can talk about pedophilia, nigga, on Taylor Made Freestyle. And he did it, and then, like, Drake's now, like, cop and police, like, nigga, I'm not a pedophile. I, I knew that was going to be going I'm not a pedophile. <laughs> anyway, as you can probably tell, this shit was a flop to me. This is by far the worst song, or the worst diss um, out of all of them. I don't think, I, I think all, I think it's worst diss out of every single diss. Um... I don't consider not not uh, I don't consider like that a diss per se. Um I mean obviously it is dissing Drake and J. Cole, but it's like I don't as far as the diss songs, like I don't know if that's a diss song. Um I think Taylor Made Freestyle might be better than this, bro. Because Taylor Made Freestyle is at least like as far as you know, Drake alone to be a strategian, uh is trying to I don't I've never been able to pronounce that one. It just general, this war general. And have like this grip on strategy. Uh, that one was actually strategically pretty impressive. Um, and it, at least to me, you know, with the deafening silence from Kendrick, was a good move. The AI shit, some people hate the AI shit musically, but I don't give a fuck, really. Um, at least in the sense of, like, you know, there's beef. I, it's not even close other than that, though. Like, Taylor Made Freestyle is probably the worst song in this entire, like, back and forth. I think it sits the scene as like a good bit better than that one. And this ain't even like I think consensus better than Taylor May and definitely seeing Sit Sixteen. So I don't know. This nigga to me I think it'd be better for if if Drake could see an opportunity, like let's say Kendrick dropped some shit that was like just him rapping. Like it wasn't even like a diss tip. It was just like you know, he let's say he write information completely. And he just like restates some shit he already said about Drake. And then he just like kinda like I beat you, nigga. Like, he just takes a victory lap. If I was Drake, I'd concede. That's Drake losing in a good manner. If Kendrick smokes his ass... I don't know. I mean, can, can he leave after that? Like, like, let's say you were down... Like, let's say you came into the poker table with 100000 on you. And you leave that poker table with, like, twenty five left would you leave the poker table would you really actually like just definitely like, no i lost almost everything i'm on my last dollar like it can't work because at that point again to the point where like you lose again like the tony sopranos like showing up at your doorstep like that's where you're at at that point would you leave before tony soprano like blows your fucking kneecaps up i think that's where to me that's where drake would be at if he you know, if Kendrick came something that was fire. Like, you know, new information or whatever. Shit that we never heard of. I don't think I don't think Kendrick has that, by the way. I don't think Kendrick has that, like, period. But let's just say he did. I think that's where Drake would be at. He'd have to be just, do I let myself get killed completely here? Or do I just take an honorable death? An honorable loss. Not even a death, an honorable loss. I don't know. But that's it for me. Uh, this shit was fucking mid- it accomplished, you know, at least dearming Kendrick. Like, it's basically like a stalemate is, I think, what Drake was, was hoping for with this song. And uh, stalemate is a pussy way to play chess. So, 